Welcome back to House Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some nice tandoori chicken, just like it came out of the restaurant. Check out the ingredients. I'll be using five large chicken legs for this. Make sure you score the chicken across its surface. Make a small incision where the ligament is at the bony end of the chicken leg. This area of the chicken tends to be stubborn to cook and making an incision will ensure that it cooks thoroughly and right through. Turn the legs over and repeat the process of incision. This makes sure that the masalas get right deep into the chicken tissue and fills the chicken with flavour. The spice mix you'll need will be one tablespoon of cumin powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one heaped tablespoon of tandoori masala powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. You'll also need two tablespoons of garlic and ginger paste, 150 ml of natural yogurt, a generous squirt of lemon juice, and now it's time to mix all these ingredients together and get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make up the masala mix for the tandoori chicken. And um, I prefer to make the mix first because if you just put the dry spices on the chicken, you might get uneven coverage. So put the Greek yogurt in, followed by all the spices um, the garlic and ginger paste and all the spices, there we go. Okay, so once we have all our spices in there, we're going to give it a squirt of lemon juice. That do, and give this a good mix. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of red food coloring. This is optional guys, but it gives you, your chicken that nice red flavor that you get in the Indian restaurants. Okay, so you get an accurate view of the color if I put that up more. Okay, so now we've got our tandoori mix ready. This is the messy part guys. So now we're gonna basically put our chicken legs in and make sure they're all covered. And make sure you rub all the mix into all the cuts that you've made on your chicken mix. And what we're going to do guys is we're going to put this in the fridge and I like to leave it overnight. No rush, chill out with your cooking and we're going to cook this tomorrow. Cover this with cling film and that's ready to go in the fridge. Okay, so once you've marinated your chicken for a minimum of four hours, preferably overnight as I have done, get your grill nice and hot and place on a nice hot rack. Cook for 15 minutes on each side, turning over halfway through. Okay, so if you want that um, out of the tandoor taste or barbecue taste, and if you have some spare coal handy, what I would say is just heat some on your gas hob for about 10 minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke the tandoori chicken and I'll show you how. Okay, so chicken is cooked now. I'm spraying my chicken with a little chilli oil. This is optional. You can also brush your chicken with butter ghee or any type of oil that you have. This will make it look nice and shiny and glistening all round. Okay guys, so now it's time to smoke the chicken. This is optional, so if you don't wish to do this or you can't do this, just add the chicken as it is. So here I've got a nice little metal container. Put it somewhere in amongst your chicken. So my chicken, so my coal is already really hot. I'm gonna put that in the metal container. Okay, and all you do guys, is you just take some oil, you pour it over the coal, then you pour, put a lid over. So now this is a rough guide. If you want it mildly smoke, smoke it for two minutes. Moderate smokiness, five minutes. Heavy smoked, 10 minutes. Now it's time to serve. Garnish with some finely chopped coriander. A squirt of lemon juice. Oh, listen to that sizzle. And a wedge of lemon for decoration. So now it's time for the taste test. Okay, so let's tuck into this little beauty here. Look at that, guys. Mmm, it's 
smoking really is very effective with this dish. So if you have some charcoal, just a tip, make sure that it's not impregnated with fuel, you want plain charcoal. Mmm, that's really tasty. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And please leave me comments in the boxes below. I do read them. Anyway, I'm out and I'm out of here.